Dear engineers, this is Piyush Ajliwal. I welcome you all in Basics of Ansys Mechanical Tutorial. Today we will learn about Model Analysis. Model Analysis is a technique to study the dynamic characteristics of a structure under the vibrational excitation. Natural frequencies, mode shapes, mode vectors of a structure can be determined using the Model Analysis. A graphical variation of number of modes versus the frequency can also be obtained from ANSYS workbench. Model analysis gives you the information regarding the different modes of vibration. Different shapes that can be taken up by the structure during the vibration. This shape during different modes are called mode shapes. All mode shapes having their corresponding natural frequencies. It can also serve as starting point from another more detailed and the dynamic analysis such as the transient dynamic analysis, a harmonic analysis or a spectrum analysis. Transient dynamic analysis, harmonic analysis and the spectrum analysis. All three are we will learn in the next lectures. Model analysis is also important in structure as a bridges where the engineer should attempt to keep the natural frequencies away from the frequencies of a people walking on that bridge. Other natural excitation frequencies may exit and may excite a bridge natural modes. Today we will determine the mode shape and natural frequency of, of a supramodal structure. These are some basic terms which we include in analysis like material we choose structural steel cross section we choose circular tube their inner radius is 10.7 outer radius is 12.7 number of modes are 10 frequency range is 0 to 100 Hz constant we consider front and rear and suspension mounting points output we calculate total deformation on all modes in this slide, the tabular data having 10 mode shapes and their different natural frequencies. So let's see the process. Open ANSYS workbench. Select model analysis. As we know that in the engineering data, the static structure is by default material. So we do not change. Select on geometry to import the geometry in the design modular as we know that the ANSYS workbench do not generate line body in the detail view click on line body say yes and say generate as you see that the supra 1d model we generate in a design modular as we give the cross section as mentioned the outer radius is 12.7, the inner radius is 10.7. As we see that there have 29 parts, 29 bodies. So we will give the cross section to the all line bodies. Click on cross section, select circular tube and say generate. As we know that the mechanical modular analysis only one part one body. So first of all we connect all the line bodies. Click on tool, click on connect, select all the unmerged unconnected line bodies and say apply. The most important thing is that the T junctions are interpolated and the tolerance is 1 mm as we are doing same thing for the unconnected bodies so let's see as we know that the mechanical modular analysis only one part one body for the one part one body we use boolean so let's see the process for connecting all the unmerged unconnected bodies 
select all the unconnected bodies say apply T junction is must be interpolated tolerance is 1 mm and say generate select create select boolean click all the bodies from the box selection say apply and say generate as we see that the 29 parts 29 bodies converted into one part one bodies select model for the analysis wait some time for open the tab of mechanical modeler we are discuss that what we are doing in mechanical modeler in the mechanical modeler first we will mesh the supra 1d model after that we constant displacement on rear and the front part of the suspension we are fixed in all the direction in the x direction y direction and z direction click on mesh say generate and as we see that all the parts all the line bodies converted into some elements in the analysis setting we find out the all maximum mode shapes are 10 click on frequency range select yes and give the range 1 to 1000 select on model select on displacement select the rear suspension part and fixed in all direction x0 y0 and z0 insert again same the process for the front suspension link fixed in all direction x0 y0 and z0 click on solution click on deformation click on total for calculating all the mode shapes and their natural frequencies for the total deformation the maximum natural frequency is 96.72 hertz and the total deformation is 18.452 maximum for calculating all 10 modes click on create result and all sets and say generate as we see that we are seen all the mode sets mode number 2 mode number 3 mode number 4 mode number 5 and soon Thank you for watching stay home stay safe